Hi, my name is Ellie Antonowitz and I'm a historical interpreter with the Wisconsin Historical Society. Welcome to the first Capitol Historic Site in Belmont, Wisconsin. These two buildings are where the first territorial legislators met for 46 days in 1836. From October 25th to December 9th, legislators put 42 laws on the books, established a judicial system, and perhaps most importantly, established Madison as the new capital of Wisconsin. But how did Madison become the capital when the city didn't exist yet? Over the years, these buildings were moved and used as homes, for storage, and even as a cow barn. In the early 20th century, the Wisconsin Federation of Women's Clubs was essential in the recognition and preservation of these buildings. There are two remaining artifacts. One is the strong box at the Mineral Point Library, and the other is our stove on site. This stove is an important artifact because it helps tell the story of how Madison became Wisconsin's capital. James Doty, future territorial governor of Wisconsin, arrived at Belmont in 1836, not as a legislator, but as a lobbyist. Earlier in 1836, Doty bought up land from the U.S. government in the area that is now Madison. On the way to Belmont later that year, he had a survey of the city drawn up. Doty presented his paper city, Madison, at Belmont among many other competing candidates. There were many reasons to choose other cities put forward as Wisconsin's new capital, but as one legislator wrote, the winter was a cold, dreary one, and Doty, with his buffalo robes, had been a real blessing to the members. In the evenings, Doty would go around speaking to small groups of legislators who would vote on the winning choice for the new capital. He handed out buffalo robes, which were expensive and warm, to help sway legislators. The wood stove in our building would have been warm if you were standing right next to it, but it wasn't efficient enough to keep the entire building comfortable, especially compared to modern standards. Eventually, 16 lots in Madison were distributed to legislators from Doty, including to Governor Dodge's son. In an attempt by Doty to smooth over friction with the governor over his persuasive means, Governor Dodge sprang to his feet and indignantly said, Judge Doty, when I want any lots in Madison, I will call on you, sir. While this capital was only used for 46 days, those weeks established the groundwork for Wisconsin's government, and they were also filled with drama, bribery, and corruption. Thank you for joining us at First Capital Historic Site, and we hope to see you soon.